Hi guys, so today we're having a look at a product from Makeup Academy. I haven't bought anything from them in ages. This is their Eyeshadow Stilo Duo Cream Eyeshadow Stick. There are eight shades available. They're £4 and you get 1.8 grams of product. I got the shade Sapphire, um, but I've got Beauty Bay up on my phone so you can have a quick peek if my ring light will start reflecting at the other shades that are available. So each one has a matte and a shimmer side, and let's have a look. Right, so we're ready to go. I've primed with the Barry M Lid Lock, I've put my brow bone shade all over, and now let's get into this guy, if it wants to open. Uh, okay, we might be tearing it open. There we go. Da -da -da. So this has got a shimmer and a matte side. I'm curious to see um, how sheer the shimmery side is. Are you the shimmery side? It's not labelled on the side, so... Okay, it's not as sh shimmery as I was kind of hoping for. Um, yeah, I was expecting it to be very glittery. It's quite a soft shimmer. Um, so, yeah, let's just get started. Got the matte side out, so let's do that. Conveniently, my nails have been breaking lately, so I can do all the blending with my finger. So I'm going to take this quite far in on the lash line, and then just kind of do around the outer edge. I did bring a brush actually because I want to see if I can blend this with a brush. This is just a double ended one from Kiko, um, part of a collection, I can't remember which one. So this is blending out um, very sheer actually. So. It's not the softest formula you know, going on. And it's looking a lot darker on camera than it is in real life. Look at that. That's not great. Okay. And in terms of like how hard this is, look. I think this needs to be a creamier formula. It's my first thoughts on this. Let's just try and blend the edge of my fingers and hopefully we'll keep some more of the pigment. I've just wiped that off. Oh my god, right, okay, we're going to try the shimmer side. Um, just to see if it's any easier to blend because I might not even be doing a wear test on this okay so the shimmer side's better softer as well. But now I'm just left with a not terribly nice eye look. <laughs> I am actually leaving the house today. It's inside the lid. Wow, much success. Um, I'm so glad I only bought one of these. 
This is awful. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's just try and tap and see if I can build up a darker crease area that looks semi. I look like somebody's punched me in the eye. No, this is no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I can't even remember the last time I put on eyeshadow and took it straight off, but this is a time. Um, this is going to be the shortest video in the world. I can't even make this work to go on. Um, swatches on my hand. They're not set. So, by the looks of things, this wouldn't have lasted. Look, look, I can actually wipe my hand completely clean. <laughs> and it's not even like my other hand looks dirty. The pigment's just vanished into thin air. Um, so, yeah, for me, this is quite firmly in the goodbye category. Don't care how cheap it is. Don't waste your money on it. There is no point. The shimmer sides are eh. They're all right. Just go get a NYX pencil. There's just... No, just... This this is this is bad. I'll zoom you all the way in so that you can really really see just how patchy and um drastically bad this looks. Well, hmm. Okay, if you've got any questions about this, leave them down below. I'm away to try and take this off. Bye guys. <laughs>